everyone. I'm not vlogging a full day, but I thought I would take you on a little activity that we are doing. We are trying to finish up our bathroom. If you're unfamiliar with what we've done, years and years ago, we did a bathroom remodel where we redid basically half the room. So we did a new shower stall enclosure, frameless glass doors. We did a new tub surround. We did new porcelain tile floors, added a chandelier over the bathtub and recently, just last month or October, can't remember, uh, we repainted and changed out the light fixtures over the sink. But all that we, oh, and we painted the cabinets white. So now that's what's left is we've got to replace the countertops. They didn't look great before, but now that everything else is fresh and clean, they look terrible. We have just the old fashioned cultured marble, which is not actually marble. It's a horrible misnomer. And so, um, if we don't get no car wreck on the way there, then we are heading towards the stone yard to look at options and hopefully find a fabricator who can do the install for us. We're collecting bids. So that's where we're going. I don't know if you have any interest in seeing the stone yard and all the slabs, but if you do, then keep watching. We're almost there. Okay. I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And I know it's very sunny, but this place is so pretty. <laughs> Look at the front. I love the details. All right, let's go find some stone. Now we are at Dell Tile and we are looking at slabs of quartzite. Oh, look, I like that. Um, there's quartzite. I love marble, but it's just not a good idea for the bathroom. There's porcelain, which looks like marble, but it chips. And then there's quartz down there. So we're just gonna kind of stroll around. And that, that's kind of cool. So we're gonna look around and, and take some notes and if I narrow it down a little, I'll let you know. That is a serious fan. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that fan as compared to that. That's crazy. Okay, now we're in the granite section. So for those of you playing along, that was Dell Tile. That's actually where we ordered our granite and marble for our kitchen like a decade ago. Having a little Quest Bar snack. And now we are going to MJ Granite all in the same little location. It's kind of convenient. Okay, so the light's not great, but we have now been schooled that marble is not a bad idea. In fact, it's one of the number one things going into kitchens as long as it's dolomite on the tag, and then you get it sealed with this stuff called like bulletproof. This is what I'm talking about. Um, and then the pricing, wherever the black dot is, the farther to the right, the more expensive, less expensive. So I'm very happy about this part. And I love the look of marble the best, I really do. And I do have a Carrera marble countertop in my kitchen that we only sealed once and never had to deal with it again. So that is white Sydney, which I like. And I know that the lighting isn't great. I don't like this one. And then this one is Aspen white. And obviously every slab is different. And it's hard to see in this light. It looks so gray, but I'm leaning towards this. I really, really like it a lot. Uh, maybe you guys can vote. Do you like, what was that one called? That one or <laughs> Aspen Gray. I'll put it, I'll put it on the screen. Give me your votes. I think we've found a winner. That's good. Okay, so more White Sydney, which now I'm liking better than the white aspen. It really depends on the slab. I think it depends on the slab. It's crazy. What's this? I don't really... It's, it's a leathered. It's a leathered look. 
think that's too white. Yeah, I like the white double like that either the Aspen or the Sydney. What's this? Yeah, this is marble marble. Yeah. So this is the difference. So if it has that. marble and not dolomite, then that's a little too porous and we don't want that. Is this gripping? Are you guys just, ooh, ooh, so pretty. Now that's yeah. marble. Yep. <laughs> and Michael looked up that bulletproof stuff. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's it. There's my car. The yeah, the fabricators stage. do that. We just pick a slab. All right, I think. No, that's too, that's a leather marble. Oh, that, that has too much movement. That'd be good with whichever one you choose. I know two you will. Lights. It's going to be hard the to pick. White or, the, or the Sydney white, you can decide with your with your buddy Lee. <laughs> He's talking about my best friend who's an interior designer. All right. Well, I think we found ourselves a winner. There's some really interesting ones that I wouldn't necessarily put in my house, but that's really cool. I would frame that and put that on a... On our, in our Samsung frame TV? Yeah. Make that my image. That's a whole other design project I haven't talked to you guys about. All right. I think we have ourselves a winner and it's getting cold. Let's go home. We are back home. This is, I just want you guys to see, like, this is not pretty. Actually, I had my camera set up over here this morning so that I could film, hello, so that I could film myself doing my hair and my skincare this morning. So it's a little bit jumbled up. And well, a Nordstrom bag is almost always a permanent fixture somewhere in my house. But just imagine it's all gonna look the same with fresh towels. Um, but a marble-like look countertop. So from what I've read, Dolomite, is very, very similar in appearance to marble, but it is much more durable. And if you seal it with that bulletproof stuff, it's just incredible. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let me turn you around. Actually, I can just, no, I'll turn you around. So that was a very productive day. And the next steps go like this. I wasn't always sure how it works. So we get back with the fabricator, which is sublime. And we let them know, hey, we're pretty sure we know what we want. We're ready for you to measure. They'll come out here. They'll measure very specifically the backsplash, countertop, the square footage we need. They'll let us know how much we need. We'll go to the stone yard. We're going to go at that last place that we were just at, that their name escapes me. And we'll pick out what we want. They'll tag it. And from there, they're going to communicate directly with the fabricator and, um, get the slabs ordered, and then when they are cut and ready to go, they will come here and install. So the whole process should take roughly a month. Installs one day. Oh, and then after they do the install, we picked out, we already picked out the sinks. They're just the basic rectangular sink with like the rounded bottom. They're undermount. We have to pick out new plumbing fixtures. So once we get an install date, I have to call my plumber who will come the next day to install the fixtures. And the bathroom's done. Well, I think I'm gonna swap that thing out, but that's an easy little nothing thing. And that's it. And finally, after 10 years, my master bath will finally be done and I'm kind of ready to redo it again. I'm just kidding. Hey friends, it's editing me. And I wanted to update you a little bit because even since I filmed that piece, things have changed. So we're still going with the Dolomite material in the Sydney White or White Sydney, I can't remember. The exact name everything will be in the description box but one of my dear friends who's one whose son is one of Shane's closest friends has his own custom home building business and I did reach out to him and ask if this is a project that he would do if it's too small and he said that would be fine so we're actually going through that company he actually gets his dolomite from that last stone yard that we were at so we're still going to be using them but he's gonna be my one-stop shop, which I love. So I don't, all I have to do is make my select and then he handles it from there. And as I discussed in my most recent house vlog with all the updates, we decided to take it a step further. Um, when he came over to get the measurements for the granite, not the granite, for the dolomite, he's like, have you thought about the mirrors? So we are in case you missed it we are replacing the countertops we are changing the sinks to undermount sinks we are changing the plumbing fixtures we are keeping our light fixtures but we are going to center them and raise them and we are removing the mirrors from the wall and doing framed mirrors in front of each sink and then in front of my sitting area and then drywalling and texturing and repainting the new exposed wall so Project got a little bit bigger, um, but still around that two week to one month time frame. 
So I will keep you posted, of course, as that goes on. It may be more in stories than in a video. We shall just see, probably be both, but thanks for hanging out with me on this very tiny little vlog. I hope you enjoy these little snippets and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.